The first SQL command we're going to look at is the insert statement, the insert command, command statement, same thing. So I've prepared something here and I've pasted it in. And this is the basic structure of an insert statement. So we got insert into, these are essentially keywords that tells the MySQL server that we're, we're about to insert data into the database. Now you see this word people. People is the name of the particular table that we're going to be inserting data into. If for instance, we had another table called uh, friends table, or we had a, uh, let's put something a little bit more common, like products table where you stored all kinds of products information, we would put insert into products. That's if we wanted to insert actually information into the products table. But since we don't have a products table yet, we're going to insert it into people. So insert into people. So you got the two brackets here. In here, you would name the fields that you want to insert data into. So let me go back. If we went back to structure, if you recall, these are the fields. We have a name and we have an ID. Since the ID is auto incremented, meaning that MySQL will automatically insert the, uh, the integer for us, the number for us, we don't need to insert data into that. That does, this. MySQL hand, handles that for us. But the name field has to be inserted by us explicitly. So, so what we have to do here, let me just paste this back in. So we got to name the field. So I'm going to, it's called name, right? The field, the field is called name. And we got to give it a value. So when you're inserting text values, like text, in this case, a name, we have to put whatever that value happens to be inside of quotes. This tells MySQL that this is actually um, text data to put into there. So we're going to call, say, Annie. So we got insert into, these are keywords, commands. This is the name of the table. In this case, we're inserting data into the people table. And this is the field that we're inserting data into. If we want to, for instance, insert data into ID, into the ID field or column, we would have to explicitly state this in our SQL insert statement. And over here, we would have to add a value here. Now you notice that I didn't put quotes around the four. That's because the ID field, I told MySQL that that was an integer, a number. A number is not treated like text. If you recall back in the PHP videos, there are something called data types. And this has to do with all of that. I'm not gonna get into the details of that in this particular video. My goal is just to get you uh, basically understanding how to insert data using the insert statement in a basic form. Since our ID field is auto incremented in, in that MySQL is going to actually enter in the ID for us. We don't need to do that explicitly. So we're just going to erase that for now. And I'm just going to copy this so I have it later. And I'm just going to hit go down here to actually run this statement and see what happens. So you see MySQL sends us back a message. Inserted roles one, inserted role ID four in the query how long it took to do that. And it shows us, shows us a statement here. So if we go back to our SQL, I'm gonna say select star from people. So I'm gonna just remove this where one, although I don't have to. We'll get into selects later on, but this basically allows us to pull out all the data from the people tables. If you remember, if you're doing searches in your Mac or your Windows on your operating system, if you're doing a wildcard search, that's what star is. Basically, star means search, select everything from table, from the table people. This is yet another MySQL statement. This is a select command or select statement. So we'll get into that in more detail later on, but let me just hit go here. As you can see, we have Annie appended twice. Well, that's because I added this beforehand. So we have Stefan, Nick, Annie. These are records that we just inserted into our people table. Let's go back to the SQL again, and let's do it again. I'm going to insert another record, uh, John. 
I'll hit go. And again, inserted rows one, inserted row ID five. That has to do with the auto increment field we saw before. Let's take a look at what that actually looks like in, uh, hold on, in our table. So here we go, we have John. And you saw how it said auto, it mentioned the five, the ID of five. The reason it's mentioning this ID is because this ID is actually the is the um, the key for the table. And I'll show you that what I mean by that right now. When I'm talking about the key for the table, I'm talking about the primary key. It's the index for the table. And you can see that this is mapped out here under indexes. In a nutshell, the primary key is the field or the column in a database that's unique, that identifies records uniquely. You don't have to have primary keys but in a table, but most, most uh, tables do, actually 99%, I would say. We'll get into this a little bit more later on when we actually do some uh, practice PHP and MySQL work. Just take it for now that the ID, excuse me, the primary key of a table, in this case I called it ID, I could call it wherever I want really, is the field in the table. Now in this particular table we have two fields that identifies a record uh, uniquely. So if we uh, browse the table using the select statement here, you notice I got uh, a whole bunch of records here. I got, uh, well, we know we got uh, five records, five total. And we have five records. The uniqueness of each record is identified by this ID field, right? You see Annie and Annie are identical, and that's allowed to happen. But you notice these numbers are not. They're all different. For instance, I'll show you something. See, we have a three already, right, an ID. I'm going to explicitly try to enter a record with three, and you're going to see we're going to get an error. So we go back to SQL. And I'll paste that insert. It. So I'm going to say we have to add the ID because we're going to tell it we need to add an ID field. And I'm going to say it's three. You notice with the three, I don't have the quotes around it because this is a, a number field, right? An integer field. That's how we define the structure of the table before, if you remember back. If you don't, just flip back and you see what I mean. So I'm going to try and do this insert statement where I'm explicitly deliberately setting the ID to three. This is going to give us an error because there's already a three and in that particular column, in that ID column or field, field column, same difference. And uh, it's going to give us an error because there's already a three. So watch this, I hit go. And as you can see, duplicate entry three for key one. Key one refers to that, that uh, particular uh, table. They call it key one because you can have multiple keys inside of a table. So if I do an SQL select, you see here, right, we have a three already, so it's not going to let us do it. So I'm going to try to enter in a, a command now, enter in a record rather, uh, where I'm going to, I'm going to say the number six, see, there's no six here, and this time it should let us do it. So we go in here, I'll cut and paste that again. Okay, so again, because we're explicitly entering a value into the ID field, we have to tell MySQL that we are here, right? And we have to give it a value now. So we're going to say it's, uh, we'll say it's seven. And watch this. See? Insert a row. It works. No problem. Why? Because there's no duplicate, right? If we select, select the data again. See? There was no other seven. Even though Annie is repeated several times, because name is not the key field, not the unique ID key, whereas ID is, we have no problems entering any multiple times, but if we try to enter a seven again or five or any of these numbers here, we will get an error. The reason you have a unique ID, a key, a unique key, primary key actually is what it's called. The reason you have a primary key in the table, it allows you to uniquely identify records. Without that, you couldn't do it, right? If this wasn't, you didn't tell MySQL that this ID had to be unique, then you could have multiple sevens, multiple fives, and this way it would be difficult or more difficult to identify unique records. So we know that this is unique, this is unique, 
and use this is unique again because of these unique IDs. The th number three cannot appear again in this table. Anyway, when you're getting later on, when we get into database and table design, you'll learn more about this.